This will show you why clipping is so dangerous. Just for this quick test, I've hooked up a very cheap little low power JBL 75.2 bridge to 4 ohms, uh, running at 12.6 volt on the bench until we get my new power supply, so not going to be kicking out as much power as it can do at 14.5. Got some frequency generator here and oscilloscope. I'm just going to show you the power that it does clean scoped and then how much more power it can do into clipping and why this is so dangerous when you do clip an amplifier because it actually gives you so much more power than the amplifier is designed to kick out uh, and it's not very clean power so that's why you tend to get smoke coils when you clip your amplifier so I'm gonna go and hit play on the tone generator here so we've got 60 Hertz and we've got a nice clean wave and on the screen here on the SPL lab we are showing a nice healthy 141 watts, 142 watts there. So now what happens if I increase the volume into clipping of the amplifier? This is just on its limit. So let's take this here, and you can see a little bit of clipping there. Come down and back into safe loads there. Now, how many more watts did that add? Just that tiny little bit of clip. If we take a look at the screen there, we now have 206 watts on the screen. So that tiny little bit of clip there that you saw on the wave added another 50 watts. Let's see what happens if we drive this well into clipping. That is a pure square wave. So when this amplifier is driven into a pure square wave, how many watts does it kick out? 245 watts. Now bearing in mind this amplifier is running at 12.6 volts rather than 14.4, Imagine how many watts this would put out in a square wave, uh, running at its maximum operating voltage. That's not going to be very good. If you've got a 2000 watt RMS subwoofer and a 2000 watt RMS amplifier, and obviously it's going to be safe playing regularly all day long at 2000 watts, um, but if the amplifier is clipping, you may very well see up to double that output into a square wave and that is where you start seeing smoky, smelly and blown coils uh, purely because it's being well overdriven and it's being overdriven by a dirty square wave. 